Welcome back to Jay Plays Indie Games. Okay, uh, you'll probably notice my Kingdom Gold has decreased substantially. That's not from trying to make videos for the channel. That's from me trying to beat Dark Souls and crying in my sleep at night. Still not something I've beaten yet. Vicious Gauntlet has eluded me. But, in the meantime, we've still got two Vicious Tokens uh, dungeons left that I probably can beat. Namtar's Lair and Vicious Steel. Uh, of the Vicious Dungeons, I think Namtar's Lair is widely considered the hardest, besides perhaps uh, the Gauntlet. And Vicious Steel is widely considered one of the easiest. On the other side of that, I have a really hard time with Vicious Steel, whereas Namtar's Lair I've only beaten once, so I can't say if I have a hard time with it or not. It took me a long... it was the first Vicious Dungeon I tried. It took me a long time to beat it. So let's select it. I think I can win fairly reliably now, maybe. If I have a good ideas in my hand. I think I'm going to go Paladin. Um, because he's awesome. No other reason. And who else? Elf Paladin might be good. Yeah, we're going to go Elven Paladin of Bimore. Just to totally make it happen. Um, hopefully a glorious end as well will spawn. We're going to do extra uh, mana since we're an elf. And we're going to do a compression seal. We're going to do a translocation seal. Um, elite items. Orb of Zot probably would save me a bit of trouble. Um, but I'm going to go Balance Dagger. Uh, the Amulet of Yendor doesn't seem appropriate. And these three all come from Vicious Dungeons themselves. So I don't really need to be taking those with me now, do I? Um, yeah, standard loadout here. Whoop as probably less valuable on this dungeon than it is on some others, but whatever. Still useful. Um, black market, yes. Yeah, there's no reason to take those chances. And compression seal or translocation seal? I'm, dig I'm doing lead items. Let's go with compression seal. Yeah. Let's play. Okay, bin lore paladin, always interesting, and starting with a piss orf is great as well. Because that means the one I'm automatically going to get, uh, I can just convert this one for some extra mana right off the bat. The the music here is fantastic. Um, I have to say it. So let's worship some bin lore. Worship. Right from the beginning. Very important. And we're going to convert this piss orf for the extra mana and pick up this piss orf right here. And we're going to grab this blood power. Extra mana. Very nice. We're going to have tons of mana. Uh, Earth Mother's here. That's interesting, I guess. Pissorf time. Get out of my way. We have to make Binlor happy. We have to make Binlor happy. That, that's my entire purpose here. Okay, he's stuck in a wall, I guess. Uh, too bad you can only push these guys in straight lines. All right, we're going to have to explore a bit. I am going to push things through all the walls that I can. Uh, there's a Burned Eras, which is fantastic. Exactly what I want. Uh, halt map, Pissorf, and Burner as right at the beginning. Pretty good setup. Uh, level 2 that I can probably actually kill. But I don't need to level up yet. I need to be pissing off things, getting them out of my way. Uh, but not necessarily leveling up yet. Oh gosh! Um, okay, that didn't work out. Uh, this is interesting. Pissorf might not be that great here. Because unless you can get a line, uh, Inda's Wall would be much better. Anyway, restart. Okay, sorry about the misclick, guys. Uh, let's wait a second, see where Ben Lord is hiding. He's hiding right here. Let's grab him up and worship. Now, free Inda's Wall for 28 piety. Inda's Wall is very important to everything in this dungeon, and there's a huge amount of walls in this dungeon, so. Yeah, big deal. Um, I am going to go ahead and do this. Because how much piety do I need? 28. So that's it, that might take me a second. Oh, there's an end's wall. Never mind. We no longer need piss orf. Uh, there's no reason to convert it. Uh, let's pick up end's wall. And be the happiest of happy people. Didn't have to spend the money. Uh, time to end his wall things. Like right there. And grab that and that. And his wall right here. 
Fantastic. We've got our sub dungeon already. Uh, oh, wait, that's the gate to the underworld. There's another sub dungeon in here somewhere, though. There are a lot of magic users on this dungeon. We have to get our magic resistance up. We also have to get, keep our physical resistance up. Not really hard as a paladin with end as well, though. Let's see. So, things we want from Binlore. Stone skin every now and again. Whatever. Uh, what gives us the most re magic resistance while getting rid of the least walls? Stone form would be a nice early. Um, why, why I can't take stone form now? Destroy nearby. Oh, you have to have at least 10 nearby walls. Stone fist is nice. Uh, you can't repeat use for stone form. You can't repeat. So stone heart's the thing that I'm going to be using to get rid of, to get my magic resistance up. Fair enough. And it lowers enemy resistance as well, which is nice. Um, so I'm going to get both of these, and then I'm going to start stone hearting out the butt. Stone skin is not as necessary. Well, stone skin actually seems to be the best way to uh, to get magic resistance up, doesn't it? So that that could be happening. It's also fairly cheap. Let's leave. So we need to show some walls so I can get stone heart or stone form, whatever it's called, the stone thing that will allow me to be happy. Alchemist scroll. Whenever I use a potion, I get plus eight max HP. I wonder if that can be any potion or if it has to be a health potion. Um, interesting, to say the least. Mono burns and blinks. Not really an ideal enemy. This place is full of not ideal enemies. I should be in this walling like crazy. And not wasting exploration, not in this walling. Alright, there we go. Um, level 2 enemies are better. Worship. Stone skin. No, stone form. Now, those who shape the storm, this boom will eventually will destroy 10. Uh, grant you might every time another wall is destroyed. Yes. Also 5% magic resistance. We're starting the magic resistance train now. So every time we destroy a wall, we get might. That's good. Also, this this level has lots of walls on it. So, yeah. That's going to happen. Uh-huh. Now, other things we can do. We have to get our magic resistance up. So, stone skin is going to be a pretty common use. Um during fights probably we, we need to find level two enemies we haven't found a single one yet that's fine not leveling up is not a bad thing not leveling up means well it is a bad thing oh pack maker pack maker is good too uh, and that body packed every time you take damage from a new XP valuable enemy the pack maker will award you 1% resistance at the cost of four piety yes so I just have to be careful when leveling up. Well, as a paladin, I don't have to be that careful, do I? Hmm. Okay, we've got the body pack now. That's pretty nice. And we are going to be traveling around searching for a level 2 enemy to kill. Because we haven't found one, which is perturbing. When we get to like 100 piety, we're going to start using that piety, I suppose. Uh, I guess I can go over here. There we are. And just along this wall as well. 60 something piety already. Witch lock pendant. I suppose I should start taking damage from things. That makes sense. As every time I do, I get that uh, nice bonus. And I can only take damage from level 1 enemies now, right? So we are going to be getting our magic resistance up. And his wall. And I can hit this guy. Very nice. So we've got our magic resistance to 8 now. It's good. It's very good. Uh, where's another level 1? You blink and you mana burn, so I'm not as interested. You don't. And you're fine as well. Very nice. So we've got up to 10% magic resistance. This is getting good. I'm liking this. Uh, plus 10 health. Dwarven Gauntlets, I am level 1. That's pretty good. Uh, let me see. We'll get me my magic going. Troll heart's fine, I suppose. There we go, 52. Let me see. Let's just pick it up. I still don't have any level 2 enemies around, which is crazy to me. Uh, you hit me. Get me up to 11. 
You hit me, get me up to 12? Yes, good. I think the only other level one that I haven't been hit by is that guy and that guy. That's fine. And his wall right here. And explore as well. Really? No level two enemies? None? Not one? It's a bit surprising. Uh, this is the actual sub dungeon that I missed earlier. And that's fine. I should hit this guy. Get up to 13% resistances. That's going to start happening more naturally in the future, but getting up to 13% now is nice. All right, we can pick up Burnderaz. Cast end his wall there. And I will be using some bin lore stuff, so stone skin. Um, let's, let's just take this a couple times, get my magic resistance up to 19%, I suppose. Uh, let's go to 22%. That's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be casting stuff anyway. Okay. And yes, I know I've got crazy amount of stone skin. A level 2 enemy that I can't kill. Really? Honestly? No, I can kill him. Ugh. Oh, okay, good. I finally found one. Um, what's that question mark? Health. I should grab both of those. Alright, so let's kill this level 2 enemy of annoying. Do I have balanced dagger? I do. Why would I kill level 2 enemies when I can kill level 1 enemies? I'm dumb. Anyway, all this exploration was a good was a good thing. I'm going to kill this guy. And I'm going to kill someone else to level up. Uh, before I level up, we get more happiness from Vinlor. Actually, I should probably get as much happiness as possible from Vinlor right now. Shouldn't I? Because it's going to be... Uh, a bumpy ride after I start leveling up. So let's do this and stone skin, stone skin. Now I now I can level up. I've got 28% magic resistance. Uh, it's enough to kill this magic user anyway. I forgot I had magic dagger like completely, and that's crazy. Witch lock pendant might be incredible. Piss orf I don't need so much. Um. Halt meh, I should keep. Burned eyes, I'm definitely keeping, so I'll just put that there. And which lock pendant? Yes. Okay, I am level two, and just as an FYI, minus ten level toll per level up. So that's something. Um I can kill level twos or level threes. I would prefer to go after level twos, so let's kill this guy. Um yeah, I can't level up without actually doing something first. That's fine. Witch Lock Pendant's actually not that valuable because I'm going to be in stone form so much. I've actually got 54% resistance naturally now. That's hilarious. Uh, okay, there we go. Got him anyway. And I should end his wall somewhere. There we go. I have to be real careful to keep my end his walls up. Well... Binlor's not actually going to punish me, is he? So it's not that that important. Um, let's see here. There's no other level 2, so I go after level 3s. And the way I can do that is by getting piety for... Oh, there's a level 2. Never mind. Um, let's just do this. I can wail on this guy and get him down. It'll level me up. I'm going to end his wall first. Actually, what I should do, because I don't get punished, is worship stone skin. And then level up, because it's, there's no negative to it, right? I should always stone skin down all the way before I... I just realized that. That's pretty good. I should always stone skin all the way down before I level up, because that's important. Good, good. All right. Now, we've got our sub dungeon, but we're at full mana right now, so we should use it. I could take both of these and go over here. Worship Stone Skin. Very nice. Uh, we're at 35% magic resistance. And who are we going to be fighting here? Uh, this level 3 looks like an obvious target. And I, I have 35% base resistances now with both things. That might be a 36. I don't really know. That's pretty good. Let's uh, check this out. This is Namtar. Why are you here? Why do you do this? There are endless, endless monsters. No matter how many you loot and destroy, there will always be more. Why fool yourself? You'll never conquer everything. I, on the other hand, will live forever. Regards, 
Namtar, beast from the pit. Okay. Fair enough, guy. I totally believe in you and your conquering of everything. Okay. And I'll do like this as well. Is that only plus five for some reason? I thought it was plus ten when I did that. Oh, it's only plus five. Interesting. Worship. Stone skin. Minus twelve. Okay, so we've got 39% magic resistance now. That's good. And he's got magic attack and magic resistance himself. He's also poisonous and mono burny. I'm nowhere near where I need to be to fight him. But that's fine. I can just kill this guy. Come level 4. Um, level 4 enemies do exist, I think. But not, these guys are like the worst enemies of all time. So I'm not going to go after that. Uh, this guy's less bad. All of my level 4s, it looks like, are the worst enemies of all time. So, now when should I start fighting this guy? Probably sooner rather than later. Uh, okay, here's a normal level 4 to fight. And I can fireball him down. Oh, I can just hit him and win. There we go. Fair enough. And over here, there's Tiki Tookie's altar, which is interesting at least. A couple of shades. They're shady. And Blood to Power, which I don't need so much. More mana, which will be valuable when I start using my Halt Mana as I should. Um, right now, most of my mana is going towards doing this. Over and over again. Until I can cast this again. And I should have taken Stone Fist at some point. Um, yeah, I've got to take Stone Fist at some point. So let's do that while I explore around a bit. A level 4 that I can kill. Very nice. Okay, let's do it. And end his wall. I've got to get up to 32. I should have taken Stone Fist way earlier. Uh, Tiki Tuki is here, which is at least interesting. And we'll go over here. And I know I've been a huge waste this whole time as far as leveling, but I only have to get to level 6, I think, before I start tackling Namtar. Not really sure. Poisonous Mono Burnie is annoying. But uh, Poisonous won't affect me nearly as much as the Mono Burn. Uh, I'll probably go through a lot of help, uh, Mono Potions fighting him. Okay, 34 is where we're at. Worship. And we can take Stone Fist now. Gives us plus 50% knockback damage. Very nice. And we, we're running out of walls. But we are up to 45% magic resistance, which is pretty fantastic. Um... Let's level up here. Who can I fight that's above my level or at my level? This guy, I suppose. Let's uh, still want a little bit more. I'd like to be around 50% resistances towards the end. Oh, Secret Sub Dungeon. With money, it gives me exploration as well. That's nice. What's in my shops? Keg of Health, Dwarven Gauntlets, I uh, should have bought earlier. Troll Heart. Interesting. Pendant of Mana. Orb of Zot. Not going to take that. Uh, Keg of Health. It's probably going to be my purchase. I don't need it right now, but that will be fantastic. Um, let's see. And what was this sub-dungeon? Did I check it out? I did not check it out. Uh, I think this guy like unlocks tons of stuff for you. Uh, extreme, yay! Uh, pack maker, mobile altar seems to be on the fritz. We don't want to take the, take the next area without divine support. Spare piety, no. I'm not giving you my piety, brother. It's just not happening. Worship, stone skin. 48%. I'm going to stone skin at least one more time before the end of this. Okay. And we're going to get high resistances all around. Um, let's get to a level, though. Like, let's fight someone normally. Like, I should be fighting. Play this game like it's meant to be played. Alright, so, this guy. I can just halt me. And hit him again. And halt me. And win. Just like that. Puts me at level 5. And... I probably want to be level 6 before I tackle this guy. He's got magic resist 50%. He's a tough nut to crack, isn't he? Um... Mana potions are going to be useful against him, I suppose. Let's see. I can go after these guys with Inda's Wall. 
Ninja's Wall is less valuable at this point, isn't it? I'm not going to be using it as much. I've got my resistances about where I want them. Let's see. Who are good targets? This level 6 guy is an okay target. I can just push him into that guy. Halt me. Um, halt me. And win. Perfect. Okay. 50% knockback damage does happen. Let's explore like so. And right there. Okay. Now I want to get to level 6 or level 7 possibly. I can kill this guy because I've been killing these guys all day. So let's do that. Hit. And halt me. Hit and halt me. Hit and I guess fireball. For the win. Eh, works. One level higher kills. And we can explore over here, and up here, down here, all around. Uh, lots of exploration seems to be cut off by walls, interestingly enough. But if I do that, I can get a little bit more. And I'm getting piety as I do that, um, which is probably a mistake. Worship. Let's take Stone Heart. What does that do? Lowers enemy resistances by 5%. Eh. Probably giving me more exploration as well. Okay. So now you're down to 45, my friend. <laughs> I probably should have been doing that earlier. Okay, kill this level 5 and it'll level me up. And fireball, win. I'm at level 6. Let's see what I can do about this guy. Not much. He is pretty ridiculous. Um, I'm not immune to mana burn, unfortunately. So Haltman is not going to be that valuable. And just fighting this one form of him is going to be crazy. Uh, what to do, what to do? Seriously, what should I do about that? I'm not immune to mana burn. I do have lots of exploration still. Surprisingly. I'm going to kill this level 9 dude while I think about it. I can halt me, halt me, kill, and then fireball. Explore over here. And over here, there's an Ima wall. Would have been useful, but it's not now. So, more mana for me. Yeah, I can't kill that guy. Interesting. I have to throw basically everything. Oh, yeah! Duh, me. Can of whoop as, dodging, those kind of things. Those are the ways that we fight Namtar. Don't be silly, me. Alright, we just have to get close to leveling up. In the normal way. So... I guess this guy is a normal target. And Haltman for the win. No. Fireball. And we'll go here and here. And now I can hit you and hit you again. And fireball you for the win. Very nice. Uh, I have to kill things. Just in general. I have to be careful about killing things. Apparently. And again, but that should be the win. Very nice. Um, let's go down here and explore a bit. Okay, I've been treating this dungeon with a kind of laissez-faire that I should not be treating this dungeon. I can win that, and that, and that. We're going to get on the edge of leveling up. Very nice. Without actually doing so. Should I wait until level 7 to tackle him, though? No, he's got too many forms, I think. It's not no experience, is it? No. Good. So, killing that guy would level me up. Killing that guy would level me up. Uh, let's just get close without doing so, shall we? So, kill, kill. There we go. So, what do we want to do? We want to use our whoop as potion. Can I get a hit and survive it? Yes. Uh, and fireballs. Uh, the fireballs are fantastic and all that. So worship. Um, stone heart. Yeah, we're not doing anything else with bin lore apparently. So. Here we go. Um, I have no way of lowering enemy resistances. Kaga health is probably going to be a purchase. Pendant of mana is not really. 
Orb of Zot could be a purchase as well. That or Kega Health. Hmm, between the two, I think Orb of Zot's going to be better right now. Like, as a way of killing this guy. Because he's he's being a pain. So, let's Orb of Zot. And then whoop as him. After Fireballs. Well, no, we have to do the Fireballs first. So, I'm going to take the Mana Burn, unfortunately. Um, that's fine. So, bang. Right? I should have Fireballed him and all first, but it didn't happen. And then I'll level up. And let's look at him. It would still take a ton of fireballs to kill him, but he looks manageable. He looks killable. It's just going to require some something. Uh, he does magical attacks. I've got 52% magic resistance. I suppose it's going to take... Hmm. This is like the bane of my current character, I feel. What is that? I did buy the Witch Lock Pendant. Why would I do that? Um, he really is like the bane of my current character, isn't he? He's going to take health potions. I, I don't see a way to avoid that. So let's use this. And the Quicksilver. Yes. And we can get one big hit off. On, no dodge prediction. It's bad. Uh, let's kill that. Mana burn. Um. Oh, crap! I wasted it. Ugh. Oh, that was dumb. That was really dumb. But I do get the dodge at least. Okay. If you guys don't know what I just did there, I'm not going to explain how stupid I am. And I'll have to use another health potion. Pick up. Yeah, I didn't have to use those health potions if I was not dumb. Alright, you, deal, you deal the killing blow to Namtar and his body crumples in a heap. You've won. Or not. The corpse shudders and rises once more. The freshly restored Namtar brushes off his cloak and smiles at you honestly. Now you didn't think that would be that easy. Ah, now he's got magic attack, weakening blow, corrosive, and curse bearer. So he's annoying as well. But if I can manage to level up... Oh, I shouldn't explore. If I can manage to level up again, which means getting rid of this poison and mana burn, then that's fine. It's going to be a health potion. I can still win this beside, despite that huge, huge mistake. Uh, pick up this mana potion. Yes. And go down here. This is not the place. Uh, this has some exploration for me. End his wall would get me some exploration there. Uh, there we go. And I can explore there. I'm trying to get full health, though. There we are. Full health. Okay. Ah. <sighs> 112. I need to get close to leveling up without actually reaching it again. How much exploration do I have down here? Not much. Fair enough. Uh, I made a huge blunder, guys. And I think that that's going to cost me a lot. Let's see. I could be wrong, though. I might still be able to pull this out. 28. Um... That's death for me, so I need to go exploring and probably purchase a health potion or something along those lines. Let's see. I I need seven experience points, which means killing that level five dude and then those two level ones. You have to die, my friend. Um, let's explore there. I can hit you and win and then I can hit you there we go now I need to be able to what I'm gonna be cursed out the butt by this method he doesn't have magic resistance this time does he no but my spells don't do that much um let's explore down here there's none I cannot believe I wasted all my potions Okay, Dwarven Gauntlets, Troll Heart. I can still buy the Keg of Health. That's interesting. Buy it. I have a ton of health potions now. Alright. Uh, what else can I do? 
Alchemist scroll is not as useful. Pendant of Health is better than nothing, I suppose. The Yindor Amulet. We can purchase Mana Potion. Uh, I may need one of these, though. Cure All Poison. Actually, this cures Mana Burn, right? That, that's not really effective. Hmm. One more exploration. That's two Fireballs I can get off, at least. Cursing is a huge bad. So let's get the Fireballs going. Fireball, Fireball. Then I can hit him once into that wall and then level up. Oh, and there's more money. Which I can use to purchase a Yindor. This is going to go well. Alright, and now I am level 8. And yes, I can purchase that Yindor. This is going to work out. Okay, I was giving up hope, but hope was not giving up on me. Okay. Fireball, fireball, fireball. I don't want to be a curse bearer, but I'm going to be, it seems. Um, I'm going to hit him at this angle so that he does not knock backwards because I don't want that exploration to happen. Yeah, I need to avoid that exploration from happening, I think. No, it's okay. The exploration's okay. So I'm going to hit him into that wall and take my curse bearer and cry like a man. And then maybe kill a level seven. Is that the highest level thing I can lowest level thing I can find? Probably. So I'm gonna hit him, and I'll explore that spot. It's unfortunate. Uh, I cannot kill a level seven. So I'm gonna Yindor. Fair enough. And what? I can't fireball him down. I have to try and fireball and the win. Bang! You killed Namtar a second time but his corpse begins to twitch once again. Brute force doesn't seem to be working. You need to take the body and find a way to deal with it now. Okay. Well we're gonna pick up that gold so that we can buy potions basically. And now we've got to figure out what we're gonna do because we cannot go downstairs in our current state. Not at all. Um. We need to not be cursed, which means using our health potions to kill these level 7s. That's bad juju, but it's reality. Um, buy the strength potion, I mean buy this health potion. So I have 4, and I have 1 mana potion up here. Okay, let's pick that up, and 1 right here. Let's pick that up. What's it going to take to kill level 7? Everything I am. Don't even know that it's possible. How much damage does he do? 85. And I have to hit him three times. That's not good. Uh, I think I might just have to travel downstairs, guys. Um, I'm not close to leveling and all that, but let's pick up Namtar. Hopefully there's three enemies down there that I can get rid of Curse on. I'm not going to be able to get a level up kill on him, I don't think. Which is unfortunate. But let's go and cry. Okay, let's move around and see where we have... Oh, this is not the uh, correct sub-dungeon. Here we are. Beware, hero, I know. In fact, since I have money, I should purchase this pendant just to be 100%. And let's go. Okay, so there's a bunch of exploration back here. The corpse evaporates in your hands and Namtar reforms in front of you. His eyes widen. I will not let you take me down here. I won't go back to that. All right, let's kill this guy. Um... This version of Nontar is physically resistant, and he's got fast regen. So it's going to be about surviving a single hit and Schadenfreude and all that. So let's get our mana up to full, and I guess fireball him to death. Yeah. So fireball, 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 Schadenfreude hit um, fireball 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 bang the blazing heat of this place is sapping your strength at an alarming rate minus 10 max hit points minus 2 max mana and minus 5 damage click to continue I beat that form of Domtar I've made some huge mistakes on this run guys but it's still going and one more kill and I won't have this curse to deal with anymore which means victory I think uh, there it is 
And you get me very close to leveling up, my friend. Very nice. Okay. I've got faith in our victory now. Let's go downstairs. I've got a lot of resources left. Okay. Namtar revives once more, but the hellish environment is taking a greater toll on him than you. His eyes are sunken, his skin is pale, and life is clearly not returning to him the way it did before. Stop this, stop this now, I'll kill you. He's got Retaliate Fireball. He's cowardly, and he berserks at 50%. Okay. Um, I've only got to kill him once. Let's explore up. That guy levels me up. Okay. Shouldn't be an issue to kill him then. Uh, especially with all these potions and such. So I hit him twice, like I can. And can I get a fireball off as well? I can. No reason not to. My cowardly friend there. I level up. And I get a couple more hits. Very nice. Um, I, a health potion will allow me to fireball him. Because he doesn't have fast regen like his other version did. So I can out-regenerate him. Yes. Uh, a little bit more, actually, so that I can hit him and fireball him safely. And then I can go up here, and one more hit will not kill him. And I can't fireball yet. I'll use the health potion to fireball or to hit. Yeah, the hit. The hit wins. Minus 10 max health, minus 2 max mana, minus 5 damage, and resistances are wiped for me. But... The maddening voice screams in your head, demanding that you give up and die. Alright, so I no longer have my resistances. However, I will be at full health and mana going downstairs. <sighs> I can win that fight. May as well kill this guy too. Before I go down. I think I'm going to win this, guys. I've made some horrible mistakes along the way, but I think I'm going to win this. Alright. No, not the pit. You'll not make take me back there. I'll never go back. All right, he's cowardly again. He's got three death protections. Uh, berserks and all that, but uh, not too bad. I should be able to regen fight him, I think. Um, yes, I should be able to. So hit. Hit. And then uh, it can help halt me to get another hit. And then I'll fireball him because he doesn't have fast regen. And I'll explore up here. Yes. Uh, hit. And fireball. Because he doesn't have retaliate fireball anymore, which is good. Um, explore. Explore. Nice enough. So hit. And I can hit him again. And fireball him safely. Can I hit that guy? Yes, I can. That should get rid of another layer of his death protection. And another fireball will get rid of his last death protection. Which takes his damage down to 34. And he's got burning on him so I can explore. He should be an easy kill. Yes, your vision goes blurry. Your blood feels like it's boiling. You cannot go on for much longer. Minus hit points, minus mana, minus damage, plus corrosion, plus weakness. Oh, man. Okay. But we're healing up. And actually, I can kill this guy and be right on the edge of leveling. Is it worth it? Probably. Hit. I don't remember what the next like layer down is. Hit. And hit. There. I'm one away from leveling, though. If that becomes an issue on the next layer down, then it's not an issue. It's not an issue on this layer. This is the last layer of Namtar's layer. Wow. I, I said that. Okay. Layer, layer. They are pronounced slightly different. Stut, please don't. I'll give you anything. I'll give you everything. Yeah, he's dead. Namtar's dead. With your last strength, you strike down Namtar's pathetic husk and allow his near lifeless body to fall into the endless pit of the void. Void of the pit. It's finally over. You've won. Okay. I totally wasted a Quicksilver potion. Like, totally. But, despite that, I have... Emerged victorious. I mismanaged the entire top floor, guys. But I've emerged victorious, and that's all that matters. All right, guys. We're exiting here. We earned ourselves a little bit of gold. 
318, not much. We dinged our max, we didn't get any new badges, but we beat it with a new class, which is fantastic. The Elven Paladin. And, thanks for watching.